Every once in a while, I'm told, a ewe will give birth to a lamb and reject it. There are many reasons she may do this. If the lamb is returned to the ewe, the mother may even kick the poor animal away, as nature seems so cruel at times. It's hard to understand. Once a ewe rejects one of her lambs, she will never change her mind. And these little lambs will hang their heads so low that it looks like something is wrong with its neck because their spirit is broken. And these lambs are called bummer lambs. And life is a bummer for us sometimes, like that lamb. Unless the shepherd intervenes, that lamb will die, rejected and alone. So you know what the shepherd does? He takes that rejected little one into his home. He hand feeds it, keeps it warm by the fire. He will wrap it up with blankets and hold it to his chest so the bummer can hear his heartbeat. Once the lamb is strong enough, the shepherd will place it back in the field with the rest of the flock. But that sheep never forgets how the shepherd cared for him when his own mother rejected him. When the shepherd calls for the flock, guess who runs to him first? Of course, it's the bummer sheep. He knows the shepherd's voice intimately. It's not that the bummer lamb is loved more than the other sheep. It just knows intimately the one who loves it and has experienced that love one-on-one. -on -one. And so many of us are the bummer lambs, rejected and broken, even by our family, even by everyone around us. But he is the good shepherd. He cares for our every need and holds us close to his heart so we can hear his heartbeat. You and I are those bummer lambs, adopted and loved. I hope, I sincerely hope, by the good shepherd. May it be so.